Hey, good afternoon and thanks for dialing in. So we get asked quite often, when is the spring market and how do we prepare for that? So let's take a look at uh, both those questions. When is the spring market? Well, there's a couple different kinds of spring. There's Mother Nature spring and then there's real estate spring. Mother Nature spring, as you know, is when the uh, grass turns green and the leaves start to come out. And by that time, real estate spring is on its way out. In fact, real estate spring has been starting earlier and year earlier each year. It used to be March and April that we get pretty busy with listings, and now it's creeping into February. Um, as you know, uh, pricing is all about supply and demand, and I think sellers are taking advantage of that spring buzz in the earlier months when there's less uh, listings out there, less, uh, less competition. So February, we start to see listings come on. As you know, pricing is all about supply and demand. So how to prepare? That's in a whole different process in itself. You know, as a listing company, we do a lot of value adds with uh, pre-inspections, staging consultations, professional photography, um, home warranties, all different types of things. Uh, but what about updates and repairs? The uh, simplest uh, method is just to do cosmetics, if you will, to keep it simple. Carpet, paint, and flooring all go a long way. Staging goes a long way. And those are things that you can actually make money on. Um, what about uh, upgraded appliances, kitchens and bathrooms and such? Um, those things you may not make your money back on unless you're doing a complete remodel from top to bottom on a house. You can actually make good money there. But um, if you just replace appliances, for example, or just do one of the bathrooms, then you may not recoup those funds. In fact, sometimes you don't recoup any funds. Take a roof, for example. I was working with a seller last year. Um, and the roof was just replaced maybe a, a year prior to that. And they said, well, we put a new roof on. Um, that's got to increase the value of our home about $10,000. I said, actually, you're going to get a $0 benefit on that. And they said, well, why is that? And I said, well, you're maintaining your home. You're not improving the home. You know, every buyer expects that the home has a roof. Um, and when a roof is 0 to 6 months old, 0 to a year old, that might be appealing. Um, after a year or two or three, that appeal kind of goes away, and it's just a general expectation that your home has a roof. If your roof is 15, 20 years old, now it's going to start to work against you because then the thought is, well, do I have to replace this during my, during my ownership? So you have to take a look at that. Are you maintaining your home or are you updating your home? And again, the rule of thumb, keep it simple. With that, have a great afternoon.